Hi, this is YY from dygadget.blogspot.com. Today with me here is another Illegal laptop, their fans' all-time favourite, Illegal Z5. Looking on the overall, of course, it is not as thin as Illegal S5. Instead of a flat surface, it has more characteristics on its cover design with LED leg strips and the iconic sculpture. With a stunning performance and stylish design, no doubt many PC master race would like to have such an amazing machine for themselves. Looking at the keyboard, it doesn't have a fingerprint sensor here, but it does have some programmable macro button on top. When you press the on button, the red strips around the touchpad and the front cover will lit up. To turn it on and off, just click the button beside the programmable macro button. For the screen of this Z5 unit, it is 15.6 inch Full HD Anti-Glare IPS AHVA display with white color gamut and viewing angle. Looking at the right of the laptop, there you can see from right to left a Kensington lock slot, two USB ports, 3.5mm mic jack and audio jack. On the front, stereo speakers. On the left of the laptop, two more USB ports, with one of them the power USB port, 4-in-1 card reader, indication lights for battery, HDD and Wi-Fi. Then on the back, there are HDMI port, VGA port, RJ45 and the power port. On the far end, the heat sink is also visible from the vent. Looking at the back cover, there are no sign of removable battery, but there is a subwoofer here. Done with the exterior, now let's go into the interior. So first, start off with removing all the screws on the back covers, which is the thin of them. I already did it beforehand, and this is how the screws looks like. Of course, there are many ways you can remove the back cover, but it is advisable to start from the speakers. Place your fingers around the speaker, but not inside it, so you don't damage the nets and diaphragm. Then, switch to the other side of the cover, towards yourself, and open up the plastic hinge before pulling the cover up like so. Take note that the plastic hinge looks fragile, although I never bought one before, but just give more attention just in case. Upon opening the back cover, you can see all the usual stuff like CPU, GPU, RAM, MSATA and so on. Do you notice something missing? Where is the hard disk? Does this unit doesn't support HDD? The answer is no. There is a hard disk drive on this unit of Illegal Sec 5. It is just hidden. So, let me show you where is this hard disk located. First, you need to remove the 8 cell battery by removing the 4 screw around it. Then, pull the battery out in an upward motion, but be careful of the pins here. Ta-da! The HDD is just hidden below the XL battery. This is how the battery looks like, and let me just put it aside first. Compared to the other laptop, Z5 have a better protective structure for its hard disk. So the work need to take it out is also quite tedious, because it's not as simply as just plug it out. So first, remove the HDD protective structure connection with the laptop by removing the screw on the metal plate that attach with the HDD. Then, your HDD will be detached from the laptop, but the protective structure, SATA cable and power cable still attach to it. What you're gonna do next is to detach the HDD from its protective structure by removing the four screws on the sides, which is here, 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 and here. Then, 
Then, when the HDD is out from the protective structure, you can safely unplug the SATA and power connection from the HDD. Usually, the connectors are either screwed to the board or they are thicker. This look unreasonably thin and fragile. That's why in this case, you have to completely remove the protective structure before you are able to unplug it. You can customize your HDD from Illegal's website, from brand, capacity to RPM. Okay, before moving to the other component, let me just put this back. Screw all the four screws onto the protective structure and another four screw for the metal plate onto the motherboard structure. Moving away from HDD, we can see the fans are connected to the heatsink and heat pipe. This is the GPU and the CPU is located below the heat pipes here. Here is the Wi-Fi network connector, which I have covered the serial number due to some privacy issue that requested by Illegia. On the other hand, there are two SSD M SATA slots. First one is here, second one is here. According to Illegia, the slot here have better heat resistance, so the main SSD will be installed here, whereas the second will be here. As for RAM, Z5 only have two RAM slot, which is located here. Since each mobile RAM can go up to 8GB, so you may have a maximum of 16GB in your Z5. Last but not least, the audio hardware. The subwoofer is here and the stereo speakers are located at the front. This is the left speaker and the right. Unlike S5, it doesn't have any hidden compartment and the keyboard is also non-removable. Okay, I think that's all the components I want to show you. Now let me just put back everything in its place. The last component you want to put back before the back cover is the battery, so that you don't damage your components when they are current on board. Give it a bit pressure here, but don't force it in. Just make sure the pins are in good contact. Screw it back as usual. Just do it! When you are ready to install the back cover, just align the holes to its connector. Start from the back, then to the speakers. Close the hinge and apply slight pressure on the vents to close the gaps. Then to the side and the front where the speakers are. Put it down again to double confirm all the sides are closed. Then, it is as usual, get the 13 screws from back cover and put them back. Please check out the other Illegia related video here. Please let us know what you think about Illegia Z5 if you have one. Also, let us know if you have any requests on what we should do next. As for now, bye!